These are our backcountry cinch straps. These are designed to connect a rear duffel to the uh, back of your bike. They have a number of interesting features. Uh, I'll point it out here and then we'll uh, mess around with them on one of the bikes. Um, they connect with land lanyard loops. So uh, really quick, easy on off on the bike. Right here, there's a little loop which is for uh, storing a carabiner. If you have a heavy duty carabiner that you like to use with your toe strap, that's where you can tuck it. I'll, I'll demonstrate how these function as toe straps in a minute. They've got strap keepers for your extra lengths. The straps are uh, actually two pieces. So there is a, they separate like this and both pieces are adjustable. So, um, and that means that this uh, same strap can work on a whole diverse uh, d array of uh, duffels from a big 60 liter duffel down to a little 10 liter, 20 liter duffel. Um, the, the excess strap lengths have strap keepers on them so you don't have to worry about them flapping around in the wind. We use all metal buckles. So these straps have no plastic and no elastic on them at all. So there's really nothing to break or fail on a long trip with a lot of heavy duty off-road riding. So we have a metal uh, ladder lock, a protective piece here that shelters the hardware, uh, shelters your bag from the hardware. We have a strap keeper for the other tail. And then we have a uh, steel cam buckle. And then uh, the uh, tail length here, also with a lanyard loop to connect to the bike. So to connect these to the bike, what you're going to do is separate the two ends and then take the lanyard loop, put it through uh, an opening on your luggage rack, and then just pull the cam buckle through the lanyard loop like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's what it looks like when it's connected to the bike. So here I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the 30 liter duffel uh, to the bike using our backcountry cinch straps, but this uh, same approach works with pretty much all of our duffels and tail bags. So I'm going to open up the beaver tails, and here on the inside uh, there's a pass-through. I'm going to feed the uh, cam buckle side of the strap up through the pass-through, and then uh, I'm going to adjust the length of this tail to suit the duffel. So for a large duffel, you're going to need a, lo a, large, a longer tail. For a, a small duffel, you'll need a much shorter tail. And that's why we made these adjustable, so they'll work on any size of duffel. You want the cam buckle, when the bag is tightened, to end up uh, approximately in the middle of the duffel, like this. So once I know where that's going to be for the trip, I set that strap length, and then I wrap up this uh, excess strap length here, and use the strap keeper to uh, keep that under control so it doesn't end up flapping in the wind. I'm going to do the same thing on the front. Pull this length through the pass-through, connect it to the cam buckle, and then pull it tight, like that. So this excess strap length, we put lots of, lots of extra strap here uh, so that this could be used also as a tow rope or an emergency tie-down. Uh, if you don't want to keep that, if you don't like stringing it uh, through the cam buckle or dealing with the excess length, you can clip it to be the appropriate length for your bike. Uh, or if you want to leave it long, you just fold it up like this. And then we have this uh, quick strap keeper here. It's an elastic band, and it just slides tight around the excess strap length like that. Keeps everything under control. This is what the bike looks like with both straps rigged, ready to ride. This uh, little loop that we have down here by the lanyard loop uh, on the cam buckle side is designed to hold a carabiner. The reason we uh, put that there is because this strap actually works really well as a toe strap as well, and also as an emergency tie down. Um, so the idea here is that if you've got this over your backcountry duffel or one of our other duffels, your buddy breaks down, you don't have a toe strap, take the duffel, pull out the backpack straps, put it on your back, and that frees up uh, these two straps to use as toe straps. And uh, what you're going to do is uh, disconnect both of these uh, ends from the strap, and then take the two lanyard loops and connect them together like this make one long strap and then uh, you'll take your carabiner and connect that to the end of the strap like that tighten it down and then you would connect uh, this end of the strap to the bike being towed and uh, the reason we do it with the carabiner is that uh, when you're uh, towing off-road it's actually um, really convenient to be able to uh, disconnect for the downhills. So pavement is one thing, but when you're off-road and it's bumpy uh, and you're towing a bike, um, a lot of times if you have a long extended downhill, it's easiest to just disconnect 
uh, and let the bike coast down, and then you want to reconnect at the bottom. So you're doing a lot of connecting and, and disconnecting. Uh, and this way, the, the person on the bike that's being towed can coast up next to the towing bike, disconnect the, uh, uh, the uh, carabiner, coast down the hill. When you get down to the bottom of the hill, you can coast right up to the back of the other bike, connect again, and you continue towing. So if you're towing over a long distance, it can be really handy to have this carabiner. It's obviously not necessary. You can also tie off the tow strap on both ends. Um, but so that's how the backcountry uh, tie downs work as a tow strap. Our backcountry cinch strap also works uh, as an emergency tie down if your bike breaks down and you have to throw at the back of someone's truck or on a trailer um, and you don't have a tie down strap with you or the person who has the truck doesn't have a tie down strap, these will work really well. So to, to run them as tie down straps, disconnect the two ends and then uh, take your tail end here and uh, let out all the slack, the tail end with the uh, cam buckle. And then take the lanyard loop, wrap it around the handlebars wherever you or wherever you want to tie down the bike from, and then uh, run the cam buckle through like that. And then you take the other end and do the same thing with this lanyard loop. Loop it through whatever you want to tie down to. And then connect this through the cam buckle. Like that. And uh, go ahead and cinch it down. Do that on both sides, cinch it down nice and tight, and it functions just like a, a normal tie down strap. So, this is our simple cinch strap and our backcountry cinch strap side by side. You can see some of the differences. Uh, they're both uh, in the similarities, they're both connected with lanyard loops. The uh, backcountry has the uh, carabiner holder. They both have, uh, they're both adjustable on both ends. Uh, they both have strap keepers. Uh, the um, simple cinch strap uses a plastic side release. The uh, backcountry cinch strap uses a metal ladder lock and a metal uh, cam uh, buckle. Uh, they both have strap keepers on the other side as well. The backcountry has this elastic uh, drawstring and the simple cinch strap uses another Velcro. Uh, and then again, they both have uh, lanyard loops as well on the other side.